Hi, my name is Ambuj Kumar. I'm founder CEO of Fortanix. And today we are talking about self-defending applications with runtime encryption. And the reason I'm so excited about this talk is because all sensitive applications in near future will be using some technology like this. So a little bit of background. Um, we have deep industry expertise. Um, in our small team, we have more than 100 security patents and um, 30, more than 30 journal papers in top academic journals. And our gamut of experience runs from hardware to cryptography to distributed systems. So the reason we got together was because we thought due to our unique background, we can solve a very critical problem in infrastructure security. So what is that problem? So those of you who are familiar with Formula One racing, you know Formula One is pinnacle of motor sports. And on race day, everything must go right. It's a greatly competitive sports. So you need a fantastic car, you need an excellent driver, and at the same time, you also need a great team support, right, support team. And all of them uh, must work flawlessly, otherwise uh, you don't have any chance of winning. So for security, it seems like every day is a race day. You are, every day you are struggling with isolating your workload. You are trying to look at your log um, data. You are trying to protect your network from intruders. You are worried about um, malicious insiders. And all of them must work flawlessly too. Otherwise, if there is any vulnerability in any of those, you get to lose all your security for all of your infrastructure. So that's where Fortanix, com Fortanix comes in. We wanted to change this model, and the question we asked was, is it possible for somebody to run some workload securely without securing the infrastructure, which is an impossible task? So let's see how we do it. So most of you are familiar with encryption. Encryption solves data at risk problem. So you encrypt a file, and then you can give that file to somebody, and they won't be able to read that file if they don't have the key. Similarly, encryption solves data in motion problem. So you open your Firefox browser or whatever browser you use, you log on to your bank, and all the data that travels from browser to your bank server, um, it's secure. And somebody who's doing wire sniffing, they won't be able to do anything with it. However, once the applications start to run, at that point, they are vulnerable. Because applications need to take encrypted data, they need to decrypt it in order to parse it. And at that point, basically, there is no tight security. So what Fortanix has done is, for the first time ever, we have created something called runtime encryption. And it keeps your application encrypted while it's running. And all the data that your application consumes is also encrypted. So your encrypted application is able to process encrypted data and produce result and therefore it's provably secure. So what does it mean, right? So let's say that you have some sensitive applications. For example, you have PII financial data that you are parsing in some Hadoop cluster, <laughs> and you are running that in untrusted environment. For example, you are running in public cloud or your remote branch office, or you are worried about network intruders or malicious insiders. So Fortanix provides this runtime encryption software that you integrate with your workload, and thereafter, your workload can run in this untrusted environment without, without caring for whether that environment is secure or not, and you get this provable security. Once you have integrated this um, software in your application, then your application is free to run wherever it, wherever, wherever it goes, whether it's public cloud, private cloud, so it's portable. The security is portable. And um, the model for security is that it's provable. So there's a mathematical proof why it works. You don't have to take anybody's word for it. Um, there is a model for adversary. And even if somebody has root password and physical access to your server, they won't be able to do anything with it. And it's preventive. So unlike most security solutions where uh, people alert you after some breach happens, we make sure that no breach is possible altogether. So the use case for something like this is in millions. For example, you are running some sensitive applications in public cloud, and the cloud provider does not want any visibility in what application you run. They don't want to see your data. They don't want to see your application. Otherwise, let's say that some government agency comes after the cloud provider, and they are, they are interested in figuring out what application you are running. So cloud provider wants deniability um, that it does not have any access to the data. Similarly, you want to protect it. So we provide this very easy to use RESTful APIs for your developers that they can integrate in any application, millions of applications, run it anywhere they want, and keep it completely secure. So um, going back to our original thesis, um, 
TLS, for example, is a still a new concept. Not too long ago, TLS was not widely used. Today, if you are using online banking, for example, um, it's, uh, uh, your, your bank must be using TLS. If it does not, it's time for you to find a new bank. Similarly, all sensitive applications in the future will be using something like runtime encryption, and they will run in this self-protected mode where they are not relying on infrastructure to give them security. In near term, we have capability to secure your high value apps. So for example, your software key managers, your vaults, your active directories, your LDAP, things like that. And in very near, near term, we'll have capability to secure all your applications wherever they are running. Um, so if you are interested in learning more, I invite you to come to fortanix.com. You can see our demo or get in touch with us. Thank you for your time.